or fish. The oarfish is the world's longest bony fish, despite its strange appearance. Regalicus glane is the scientific name for this fish, which belongs to the Regalicidae family of fish. The family name Regalicidae is derived from the Latin word regulus, which means royal. The name oarfish is unknown, however it may allude to the oar-shaped body or the long oar-like pelvic fins. Because of its long thin body, the oarfish is also known as the ribbonfish. It's also known as the king of herrings. Although an oarfish is a deep water animal, seeing one is not unusual. These bizarre creatures have been known to wash up on beaches after storms, providing hours of entertainment for interested onlookers. They also have a tendency to float to the surface of the water when they are unwell or dying. As a result, the oarfish is supposed to be responsible for many of the mythological sightings of sea monsters and sea serpents by ancient seafarers and beachgoers. Despite being obtained for sport as a game fish, the oarfish is not commonly fished commercially, since its gelatinous meat is not considered palatable. The oarfish's most distinctive feature is its incredibly long, ribbon-like body. These fish can reach lengths of over 50 feet, or 15 meters, and weights of over 600 pounds, or 272 kilograms. It has a scaleless body with silvery blue skin, and a bright red dorsal fin that resembles headgear. A tiny spine protrudes above each of the fish's almost 400 fin rays on the dorsal fin, which runs the length of the fish. The pelvic fins of this fish are similarly elongated and pigmented. The oarfish has a tiny mouth with no visible teeth. The majority of their diet consists of plankton, small crustaceans, and small squid, which they extract from the water using specially designed gill rakes in their mouth. The oarfish, in turn, could provide food for larger ocean carnivores such as sharks. Almost everything we know about oarfish comes from specimens found on beaches or accidentally caught by fishermen. At night, they've been seen approaching the surface, perhaps attracted by the boat's lights. A live oarfish was filmed for the first time in 2001. It was discovered by a crew of U.S. Navy troops who were stationed at a buoy in the Bahamas. This species has been observed swimming with its long dorsal fin undulating, while retaining a somewhat straight body. This type of propulsion is referred to as an ameform method of swimming. Oarfish have also been observed swimming in a vertical position. This is supposed to be one of the ways the oarfish searches for food. Between July and December, oarfish have been sighted spawning off the coast of Mexico, but nothing is known about their reproductive habits. After spawning, the adults abandon the eggs, leaving them to float on the water surface until they hatch. Once they have emerged, the tiny larvae feed mostly on plankton. Adult oarfish are thought to be solitary creatures. The oarfish is a deep-sea pelagic fish that lives in the eastern Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. They're usually found at around 600 feet, or 200 meters, deep, but they've been seen diving as deep as 3,000 feet, or 1,000 meters. They've also been discovered at depths of 20 feet, or 60 meters. When they're looking for food, they'll most likely go to shallower waters. Despite the fact that they are rarely seen in the wild, their numbers are thought to be sufficient to prevent them from being classified as endangered. 